Welcome to Morning Devotion for St. John's. I'm Vicar Krieger. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Short reading from Psalm 90, uh, verses 10 through 12. The length of our days is 70 years, or 80 if we have the strength. Yet their span is but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. This is the word of the Lord. You and I both know what it's like to be just insanely busy. We schedule so many things into our day, more than one day can possibly hold sometimes. And if you're like me, sometimes you look back at all the things that you accomplished in the day and all the things that you meant to accomplish and think maybe if you had known how quickly time was going to slip away, maybe you would have reordered those things. Maybe you would have uh, prioritized the thing that really needed to get done as opposed to the thing that maybe was further off uh, but was easier to do or, or took too long. You know, you think of, think of the way our lives are packed full of obligations and, and then we reflect on these verses and we think that think of just how time is such a unique and precious gift of God uh, each each one of our lives it you know this is a, a this is a prayer of Moses Moses is talking about how how each one of us has a life that is limited it's he says 70 years or 80 80 if if we have the strength um, you know and Moses himself lived lived longer than that, but, um, but each one of those years is filled with 52 weeks, and each one of those weeks is filled with, with seven days, and each one of those days is filled with 24 hours, and each one of those hours is filled with, you know, we go on and on. Think of how this is such a, a precious gift. God gives us so much choice over what we do with, with those times, and yet we don't have any choice about how much of it we actually get. He gives us all this time to, to walk in our Savior's footsteps, to reflect his love to the world around us, uh, to, to do acts of service uh, for each other, for our family. Um, time is, is his unique gift to us. And, I, and though we don't have a whole lot of say over how much he will grant us, we do have some say in, in how we will use it. And can we use our time in any better way than to just to live in his word and i don't i don't mean necessarily um just time that is that is spent in church or just time that is spent um in in the bible that is a a wonderful way to to use time but he also gives us ways to be in him and to be him in the world as we serve as we serve others but when we do go to his word, we learn that that life is this precious time of grace uh, that he grants us uh, and he's bringing us through this life to take us to heaven. And only his word makes me wise for salvation uh, through faith in, in Jesus Christ. So I'm going to use my moments and my days to learn more fully of, of him and to love him more deeply and to live more closely to my Savior Jesus, the one who lived and, and died and rose for me to bring me to him and it's, it's in his name that we do all of this uh let's let's pray eternal shepherd help me to use the time that you grant me to draw closer to you amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you.